das kann nicht sein. Ah, warte. Na, mal schon, ja. Wenn ich, wenn ich den Rucksack anhab. Aber komm ich, das Signal ist da ohne. Ja, du musst auch sowieso auf dem Handy äh, im, äh, Internet holen. Hello folks, welcome to Salzburg, listen to live. This is Bernie, I've just got here in the nick of time to begin the Sound of Music tour. Welcome to Austria. I've got a very special person with me today. Uh, the weather has suddenly stopped. It stopped raining. Guys are swimming. Guys are sailing. La -da -da -da. We're in the center of Salzburg. You can hear the bells ring. It's almost as if Julie Andrews is still with us. Anyway, the special person I want to show you today is none other than Sylvia Aird. Sylvia is from here. She's from Mittertil actually and uh, she's Austrian through and through and she's wearing her delightful Austrian traditional costume today which I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of. We got here by the skin of our teeth. She's just planting the belongings over here on the seat. Sylvia, you're on candid camera. Hello. <laughs> Hello Hi, world. <laughs> Doesn't she look lovely? Julie Andrews, through and through. Kim, jetzt sehen wir, jetzt muss die Herzen anschauen. Jetzt können wir schon welche Herzen nennen. I'm just telling Sylvia to come and have a look. She's never seen Periscope before. Come and look at the lovely hearts that are coming in, which we like. Um, this uh, fountain, so it's been like this, right? this fountain was in the film. And just we're just gathering our bags. And yeah, she's a lovely lady. Hello from Miriam, Miriam, Muram. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite catch that, but I will catch all the other texts that are coming in. So this was part of the film, Sound of Music, in the film. Sylvia's a bit of a dog's body today, she's having to carry all the bags. But she will have a starring role in the film. She will in the broadcast uh, quite soon. Now you can see over there, I'm trying to keep it as still as I can, I'm trying to hold the guitar in one hand. Yes folks, the guitar is with me. Can't go without it. Um, we have uh, the horse and carriage, the traditional Salzburg horse and carriages here. Um, and of course, that featured in the film The Sound of Music as well, all those years ago in 1965, as did this archway. So, we're gonna walk through the arches. They're all waiting for customers, the horse and carriage people. And you'll remember the scene from the Sandy Music where the Von Trapp children and Maria Von Trapp were singing on an open top carriage. And actually these, these arches are also quite significant because the original Maria Von Trapp had a cameo part. She had a cameo part in the film and um, she, uh, Maria Von Trapp, the, the original Maria Von Trapp had a very small part where she walked onto the onto the cine screen if you like with her daughter her actual daughter and um, of course the film was made all about the family Von Trapp they were singers and uh, the film changed a few of the actual facts of the family Von Trapp they, but they did uh, leave the country, they went to Switzerland, the original family Von Trapp, and um, 
managed to get over the border before the Nazis were able to capture them. So that is a true story. And uh, poor Sylvia having to carry my bags. Yeah, and of course the film was then produced by um, Pinewood or whoever it was. Rogers and Hammerstein composed the music and it's a film that stays with most people if they've seen it. And several people have seen it 50 or 100 times. There's always some interesting things going on here. Let's have a look. It's a marketplace here. the instrument if anybody has any idea send a text it's not a glockenspiel it's not a zither but it's something in between now here we've got a view a beautiful view of the Hohe Festung Salzburg the castle of Salzburg which of course was featured in the film as well practically everything that's worth seeing uh, had a little bit of a feature in the film <laughs> I wonder who that is on top of the ball there, on top of the golden ball. It wouldn't be Euro Maestro, would it? No, he's in the wrong place. Somebody that's a very mighty person. It's not easy when you're holding bags or guitars in one hand and camera in the other, but I'm determined to make sure that the picture doesn't wobble too much and you get a bit of a feel for Salzburg. And thank you for your hearts. I think we're going to have a lot of hearts today. I'm just praying. I'm just praying that my battery lasts and I also get to a, to a point where I can maybe just recharge it. I'll be doing a series of, say, five or six videos today maximum. Last week we did about eight, but there's no need to do eight. We can get by with just the key things today. Sylvia's looking for a seat to sit down on, <laughs> but we need to go in the other direction actually. Sylvia, jetzt gehen wir Richtung Getreidegasse. Another chance to see Sylvia in a lovely Trachten, as they call it, national costume. <laughs> About 20 minutes ago, it was pouring down with rain, or a word similar to pouring. Yesterday we had a brilliant day, but as long as it doesn't rain, we can still get the benefit. <laughs> so. Now we begin to get ready, guys. This last one, I'm talking, don't talk much. Uninteressant ist nicht. Anybody fancy a game of uh, chess? Beautiful historic city of Salzburg. We haven't got time to go into every building, but we're gonna, I'm gonna make my way down to the narrow cobblestone passageways, one in particular known as the Getreidegasse. It's the famous, Getreide is the German word for wheat. 
isn't it? So we, yeah. Um, no doubt there was people trading in all sorts of uh, <laughs> products in those in, in those early days, and the Getrai de Gasse is where Mozart was born. So we're just wandering down. So everyone wants me to cut the broadcast to an end and then restart. But we're almost we're almost at the Getreidegasse. These are the Haflinger horses. These are an Austrian breed of horse. A sort of blonde hair, blonde haired horse. Some of these buildings date back a long way. If you look at this building here, the date on top of the building is 1382. And you're probably all wondering, well, is Bernie going to get his guitar out now and do a song? I think I'll wait a little bit longer for that. So this will give you a bit of a, a feel for life in Salzburg. The tourists are starting to arrive. The cafes are doing a good trade. People like going in for coffees and cakes in Austria. They do some great desserts in Austria, one of which is called the Salzburger Nocke, which is a kind of a souffle dish. I presume it was uh, created here in Salzburg. So people can eat well here. Some of these little alleyways that look, look very attractive, don't they? We're going to be walking through Salzburg a bit and then the tour will start at two o'clock, roughly, Central European time, or one o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? He's actually floating. He's not, he's not supposed to move, actually. He's supposed to be a statue. Still <laughs> bleiben. There we are, Salzburg statue. Right, we're just um, a short walk from Mozart's house. Or Mozart's birthplace, that's what I meant to say. So we'll walk down here, turn, turn left, and then we'll have Mozart in front of us. Yeah, Sylvia's uh, just prompted me to let everybody know what we're doing today. At two o'clock Central European time, the Sound of Music tour will begin. So we'll be driven by bus to all the places of interest, to the places where parts of the film were made that might be familiar to you, the gazebo, the glass house, the Mirabel Gardens, the steps where they uh, had a bit of a routine and a song. Um, so it's that kind of thing we're going to be seeing today and it will eventually finish, finish off with a, a coach trip to uh, one of the lakes in Austria, in the Salzkammergut, the Lake Monse, where the church is located where the wedding scene was, was made. So, uh, uh, action-packed day for you. And um, what I'm trying to do is, because I've got my guitar with me, uh, and I'm wearing my traditional Austrian lederhosen and outfit, I'm going to try and get a few of the guests on the Sandy Music Tour to come and join me and we'll do a bit of a sing-song. That's the idea. Right, this is the beginning, almost, of the famous Getreidegasse, that's why there's so many people.